What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will be taking a quick look at the Air Jordan 12 in the white, black, varsity red colorway. All right, so before we take a look at the shoes, we'll take a quick look at the box. Obviously, this is an OG inspired box right here with the Nike logo up top. The size tag label does read Air Jordan 12 Retro, white, black, varsity red. And then on the back side of the box, it does say engineered and built to the exact specification of championship athletes from around the world. And then inside the box, you do get this kind of same color as the cardboard paper inside of the box for the Air Jordan 12s. But without further ado, let's take a look at the shoes. All right, so over on my Instagram at Sneaker Tech Talk, I do hoop in Jordan brand or Jordan retros. And I'm getting a ton of people on my page saying, what are you doing wearing Jordan retros? You can't play in those. They're not built for today. And honestly, other than the material, the tech is the exact same from back in the day. And it's arguably better back in the day than what the shoes are being brought out here today in 2023. So the tech package that you're getting in something like this, yes, they're a little bit heavier, not very breathable, and they do take a lot of time to break in but you can absolutely hoop in a Jordan brand shoe from 25 years ago, no problem, because the cushioning system in this, the traction and the support is unparalleled. It's amazing. We'll get to that in a second, but what you're getting here, I know a ton of people like to call these the Air Jordan 12 cherries. I was around back in the 90s, no one called them that. In 2009, they did retro for the first time, and that's when kind of that nickname did start. I won't be calling them the Air Jordan 12 cherries, if you want to call them that, that's fine, but it's not what I refer to the shoe as. They're just the white and red 12s. But starting on the outsole, you do have kind of this gum red bottom here as far as the outsole goes with this black portion here at the forefoot and the heel. That is herringbone traction. So herringbone traction is some of the most tried and true traction of all time. So yes, here in 2023, you can play with these on indoor courts, outdoor courts. They're gonna perform amazing. They're gonna hold up. They bite the floor amazing. You're not gonna have any issues with this traction if you play in these here today. For me, I did pick up two pairs of this colorway. I don't think I'm gonna be taking them to the court, but I do have other colorways that I still play with today. So the traction on the Air Jordan 12 is amazing. As you can see right here, poking through the bottom, you do have that carbon fiber shank plate right here in white and black that's going to offer some really nice torsional rigidity now on the air jordan or 11 sorry it was full length from heel to toe on the 12s they did shorten it up a little bit so it only goes from about here to here but it still offers that great torsional rigidity and kind of arch support as far as just having a rigid shoe under your foot Moving your way up from that, these do have a Phylon midsole. So once broken in, they do become pretty nice and fluffy underfoot. And then housed within that is bar none, probably, probably my favorite cushioning setup of all time. It's full length zoom. So let me grab an airbag I do have from an original Air Jordan 12, and I will show you guys what's housed in the Air Jordan 12 as far as the cushioning goes. All right, so I did misspeak. This is not from an original pair, but it is from a French blue 2003 retro that I did hoop in in high school. So this is what's housed in that file on midsole. It's directly under your foot. It's pretty thin, but it's very responsive, and it just offers an amazing spring back feeling with this encapsulated zoom air unit you're getting some quick response tensile fibers with some nice air inside and it just offers a very close to the ground responsive cushioning setup here in the Air Jordan 12. So I would argue that the cushioning setup here from 1997 is better than what most brands are bringing out today. So I will just tell you that as far as the cushioning goes. As far as, as, far as the upper for materials, you kind of are getting that lizard inspired uh, leather material right here on this toe guard. And then the phylon material kind of mimics the leather kind of texture. Definitely an amazing look for the Air Jordan 12. You do have that Jumpman tag right there, which is definitely nice. The leather material on these is actually quite nice for what Jordan brand is, has been bringing out lately, in my opinion. I'm not mad at these at all as far as the materials go. 
On the medial side, you're getting more of the same. You do have this toe rand right here of leather. On the medial side, you're kind of getting at the midfoot portion. Another tag there that doesn't have anything labeled on it. As far as the lacing system on these guys go, it is kind of a traditional lacing system with these two top eyelets right here that do have jump mans on them. Now, back in 1997, these eyelets right here were actually metal. I don't know why they're using plastic here in 2023. The 2009 pair were also plastic, but they were very glossy and I hated that look because they are supposed to be more of a matte finish. So you are kind of getting a matte plastic portion for those eyelets. You also have one more top eyelet right here. As far as the sock liner goes, you do have a black sock liner here on the white black Varsity Red Air Jordan 12s. Now down the tongue, you do have a Jumpman logo at the top and then it says two, and then you have the number three for 23, obviously MJ's number. At the back of the shoe, you do have this pull tab right here that does have a jump man at the top. It says Jordan going down the side, and then it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever with the two, three at the bottom. So bar none, this is one of my favorite performing Air Jordan models of all time. I will just preface that they do take a ton of time to break in. Like these shoes take like five to 10 hours to break in. But once you have them broken in, they feel amazing. They have great traction at the bottom of a shoe indoors or outdoors. The cushioning setup is amazing with that full length zoom air unit directly under your foot. And then the materials and the support are definitely nice as well. It's kind of like a boot-like fit, honestly. Like a lot of bigger players would probably like playing in these today. But for me being like six, two and a half, 215 pounds, I still enjoy playing in the Air Jordan 12 here in 2023. Really quickly, as far as the sizing goes for Air Jordan 12s, I'm usually a size 10 and a half or 11. With the 12s, I usually go with a size 10 and a half. It's a very snug one-to-one -one fit by doing so. And once this material does break in, it becomes more soft and kind of gives your foot a little bit more room inside. But with my size 10 and a half, my toe is sitting right about here, right near the end of the shoe. If you are a wide footer, I would recommend going up half a size because this is raw material and it does take some time to break in. So if you have an overly wide foot, it does kind of taper in a little bit here near the toe box, but overall the Air Jordan 12 in the white and red colorway back from 1997 is just an amazing looking shoe. And this colorway is just so nostalgic because MJ did play in these 25, 26 years ago now, I guess. So definitely nice to have them back. I scooped up two pairs at retail and they're still sitting on shelves. I was at the mall yesterday at Foot Locker and these are still sitting on shelves in full size runs. Now, obviously the price point of like 210 USD, 270 here in Canada is very steep, but I was happy to grab two pairs because I did get rid of my two pairs from 2009, about a decade ago. So that's gonna do it for today's video on the white and red Air Jordan 12 back for the second time here in 2023. Let me know down in the comments, did you guys pick these up? What do you guys think of this colorway? Obviously OG Air Jordans from back in the day are some of my favorite shoes and still today here, you know, being in my mid thirties, I'm very happy to scoop up pairs that MJ did wear back in the day. And the 12 just so happens to be one of my favorite Air Jordan models of all time. But as always, if you guys can like, comment and subscribe, that does help the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video and until next time, Peace.